Rebecca here. Look, again today I have to raise the issue of the cervical screening um, scandal and the failure of the government to respond to the calls for the, for the head of the HSE to be removed. It absolutely symbolises their ineptitude to deal with the horrific situation that presents for women. The words contempt and unfeeling come to mind when I see the response of Leo Varadkar. It's certainly not the response I or other women I speak with would expect from a state leader. Women have died and others are fighting for their lives, while the government fails to act decisively to hold those in the position of responsibility and authority to account. The women and families affected by this scandal are speaking, but the government is just not listening. I've spent the past two days in the Finance Committee questioning the State Claims Agency and today in the Health Committee with the Ministers and the HSC. And I've come to the conclusion that the web of unaccountability and the lack of transparency and clear communication pathways is beginning to look like an aerial shot of Spaghetti Junction on a very, very foggy day. And that is not just, just not good enough. The Minister, I'm asking as well, Leader, for the Minister for Finance to come into the House to discuss the approach of the State Claims Agency uh, in particular in relation to med medical negligence. Uh, I think there are questions to be, uh, further questions to be asked there, but I also think he needs to take on board the um, suggestion from my own party colleague, Pierce Doherty, that the HSE and the State's Claims Agency would address the situation with the two private uh, American companies rather than to have individual women and their families um, going through legal battles uh, with these profit maximising uh, companies. But the person who provided over such confusion and who played a key part in the decision to contract out such a key services to these private American companies must go and he must go now. He has presided over negligence, concealment and misinformation with the most serious consequences for women and their families. Otherwise, we are left with the question, just what would it take to hold the head of the HSE to account?